Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan and this morning I'm going to take you to my morning routine. My alarm goes off at 5.15 a.m. every weekday morning first thing I do is give myself a good stretch. Really got to get some blood flow and circulation in that body. So I'm going to move my arms and my legs. I'm getting my robe on because it's always a little bit chilly in my house thanks to the AC pumping 24-7. Currently my husband is gone at a conference so I actually get to make my bed first thing in the morning which is my goal every day once I can convince him to get up as early as I do. When I come downstairs I like to open up the blinds and get some fresh light in my kitchen. The very first thing I like to put in my body is a warm cup of lemon water. Lemon water not only helps detoxify my body, but helps get everything flowing in the morning if you get my GIF. Now for some coffee. As you guys know, this is the highlight of my morning. Coffee is legitimately the reason I get myself out of bed in the morning. I am so passionate about my coffee that I have put together a free guide for you on the perfect cup of coffee. And you can get it for free now by visiting my blog and signing up for my newsletter. So I'll make sure to post the link in the description below. And I carry it over to the living room to have my morning quiet time. I start out by writing 10 things I'm grateful for in my journal every morning. And then I do some Bible journaling, which sometimes is as simple as putting some worship lyrics down next to my favorite Bible verse. Sometimes it's a little bit more extravagant. At 6.15, I go upstairs and I open the doors to help my kids start waking up, help them pick out their clothes. And then they have a checklist on their door to help them get ready so they don't forget anything in the morning. kids wake up more cheerful than others. When we come downstairs, I usually get Kellen playing with some toys while well, I can go make some breakfast and work on lunches. This kid is always hungry. He usually eats a breakfast in the morning. Um, he eats snacks when we go for a walk in the morning. And then he comes inside for a third breakfast. Right now, he just wants some water. He is my most particular kid and definitely tells me what color cup he wants, where he wants it, all those details. This morning for my kids' lunches, I'm making quesadillas. Just black beans and cheese, super simple, but also has protein and fills them up. daughter's least favorite part of the morning is getting her hair done, but we kept it really simple today and just fixed her pigtail. When I pack lunches for my older two, my toddler always insists on packing a lunch for himself for a one mile walk. He also likes to make breakfast himself. He likes to be my big helper, pour in the coconut milk and do the blueberries by himself. I work really hard to sit down with the kids and do devotions every morning, but I'm not gonna lie, some mornings are just chaotic and we don't quite get to it. But this morning actually went really smoothly. I even had a moment to just sit and 
chat with Kellen while the older two are brushing their teeth and finishing up getting ready for school. I love mornings like this. All right, now we're walking to the bus stop. I love that it's always nice and warm in the morning so I don't have to worry about grabbing a sweatshirt for everybody. Like I said, Daddy's gone at a conference this morning and I realized when we got out to the bus stop that Skylar had a test that we forgot to study for. So we got some quick cramming in. Thankfully, he already knew most of his facts pretty well. After dropping the kids off at the bus stop, Kellen and I like to walk around our community. The loop is about a quarter mile, so we make sure to get at least a mile in every morning. This morning I'm kind of dragging and going slow, but sometimes we like to speed walk it and see how fast we can get it done. I love that the sun is always peeking through the trees as we're walking around in the morning. It's just one more thing for me to be grateful for. Just showing me the beauty all around us. I have been really enjoying getting up at 5.30 in the morning, as surprising as it sounds. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've been hearing me talk about hashtag project become a morning person. Over the last several months since the kids started school, I have been working on getting myself up earlier so I can have that moment to myself and it has been a game changer for me. I can't even tell you, I have so much more energy. I am just happier and cheerful in the morning. If you wanna hear more about how I made that transformation, leave a comment below and that's a video that I can make for you in the future. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe so we can hang out more. Cheers.